Hello everyone, welcome to Cardano Catalyst TV. I'm Mi Jung, the host, and today we welcome Ms. Hương Dan to our show with her proposal, Elevate Social Impact via Cardano. Hi, how are you? Hi Mi, thank you so much. I'm good. Um, I hope you're doing well. Thank you, I'm doing very well. So everyone is very excited to hear about your proposal. Can you share with us what is it and why do you have this idea? Thank you so much. Um, so um, our proposal in my team, uh, I'm representing my team of three people and our proposal is called uh, Elevate Social Impact by um, Cardano. Uh, so for me, I have been working in social impact for uh, a long time and uh, I study entrepreneurship and innovation and my interest is always to, um, to see how we can in, um, amplify our impact in the community using technology, financial uh, services and getting the community to um, join hands and buy in and together we can we can number one solve uh, some um, social problems and number two, uh, giving a hand to some of the social enterprise in Vietnam to um, help them to uh, elevate their impact and, and you know, giving them a chance to uh, execute their ideas. Um, so uh, that's why I, I choose the theme this, um, for this proposal to be able to help them. Awesome, very nice. So, uh, so can you, uh, can you uh, give me a clearer pictures of what is this gonna be about? Yes, so um, our project is um, to, raise, um, to raise awareness about uh, social enterprise in Vietnam um, through, uh, through Cardano holders. And uh, we would engage them to stake in the smaller pools um, of Cardano and then um, the, uh, the pools holders the pool owners will be able to distribute X amount of profits of their fees um, to the uh, two different social startup social enterprise in Vietnam. Uh, so we will have a whole holistic um, process through our key selection criteria. We will vet our social enterprise in Vietnam and then we will be able to um, to also uh, help them with uh, due diligence um, because one of the one of the um, challenges for Vietnamese social enterprise is that they um, they haven't been able to make a um, make their profile into a, in a way that um, they can you know from child protection policies, from corruption policies, from uh, sexual abuse policies, a lot of the documents that hasn't been in place, and therefore they face a challenge of getting uh, bigger funding from other from other funders. So through so Cardano um, uh, system, um, eco, um, ecosystem, I will be able to help them building uh, the frameworks for those, for those um, due diligence documents and also to train them and, um, and raise awareness about, about Cardano within uh, their communities to see how technology uh, can help them uh, working in their space a bit easier. Um, so that is the whole idea of you know using our community uh, and also our um, our um, other holders. They don't they don't have to contribute money, but they can also through so their their staking uh, activities they can um, be able to to help the community as well. Awesome! That is a very wonderful. Awesome with your uh, long term experience, I think that's going to be a very successful one. So besides you have the experience, so do you have anybody else that support you uh, with this proposal? Yes. Um, so I have um, Mr. Tien uh, in our team. Uh, he is the um, uh, he created the um, the uh, VLI uh, pool, and he is also expert in the technology industry. He is an um, he has been also uh, um, working with me in with some of the social projects in Vietnam. And um, Miss uh, Ling also um, the project manager of Hopebox Social Enterprise, and she, she had many years of um, not too long. This is quite young but she, she had um, experience in project, um, project management in social enterprise recruitment for um, women who are victims of domestic violence and she, um, she is also managing a, a big project with the Netherlands embassies in Vietnam uh, through our training, uh, training program. So I think with the diverse backgrounds and related to the community of uh, the community that we are supporting, I think we will be able to um, to make this process make this um, project success. Awesome, that's very nice. 
So uh, thank you for your sharing. And also, if you got funded for this proposal, so where can the community continue to keep track of you and with or all of the activity that you have done? Yeah, so we will be um, we will be keeping uh, our community posted on GitHub. Uh, we will be um, writing our reports there and, and um, making sure that our information is updated and uh, share on that platform so everyone can check our pro uh, our progress of where the where the um, project is leading to and how we are going to do it. And um, if there are any challenges or any opportunity opportunities or anything that we need to change, we will be updating on that platform. Awesome, that's great. So in case that you guys got not got funded, just in case, I don't know. So it, will you continue <laughs> to do the project or you will wait until the next fund? Um, I think uh, it would be great if we can if we can get the fund um, and, and get the support from the community. But uh, in the case that we are not funded for this round, we will be sitting, um, sitting down with our team to evaluate uh, and see uh, and evaluate all the feedbacks and the um, assessment from, from our PA and, and VPAs, um, because that's a very good learning experience for us to see how we can improve our proposal uh, for next round. So we are really uh, committed to this project, but if, if there is anything that we can't do for this round, we will be able to submit for next round, but ensuring that uh, our proposal is, is improving. Um, and uh, yeah, so we, 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 we are working hard to, to uh, get to this round, but if not, we will be able to uh, have time to revise for next round as well. Yes, thank you. Yes, this is a very meaningful proposal as well. And so to ask for people vote, do you have anything else to, share, to say and to share? Yeah, I think um, I think within the technology industry, um, it's very potential for everyone to to uh, join hand to to help the um, social impact project. Um, but at the moment, I see that uh, there are two things missing missing out. Number one, there are not many social um, project like impact, uh, social impact project in this community. And the second thing is uh, for women and, and children. How can we use our our advantage to um, to scale up? some other models uh, to, to empower other people to be, be able to do it. So I think uh, uh, with this innovation of the, of the project, I hope that it will be something new and something that is impactful enough uh, to get people buy in. So I really hope that our voters, our friends will be able to um, have time to read our proposal. That's number one and, and see if you have any comments and also um, vote for us so we can, we can, um, we can elevate the, the social impacts in Vietnam. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So this is super, a very meaningful proposal because it's me measure the social impact and also it's bring a lot of benefits. It's bring the sustainability to the community as well. Uh, not only in the global community, but the Vietnamese community. So everyone, if you are interested in this proposal, please come to the description part. You will see all the related link and information that you can find learn about this proposal. So uh, please uh, come on Idea Scale and search for the name Elevate Social Impact via Cardano and vote for the team because your vote really matters to the teams and the successful of the proposal. Thank you for watching Cardano Catalyst TV and I'm Nita. Thank you.